Alright guys, <clears throat> went over to the dollar store, um, picked this up for a dollar and 25 cents, moisture eliminator, I don't know if it's going to work in the trailer or not, traps excess moisture, eliminates stuff odor, prevents water damage, I'm going to try this um, in the trailer, leave it in there with the window shut of course for a week or so maybe longer and uh, we'll see if this actually uh, works it's cheap enough I can buy more might be just toxic who knows <laughs> so what I found really cool for three dollars this I saw this uh, turbo roaster thing I don't eat a lot of meat but this is a still for water for three dollars at the dollar store comes with the glass jar the lid stainless steel um, tubing and apparently this was a cooking device to add flavor or cook the inside of the turkey faster or whatever as seen on TV so I'll show you what it looks like here is the jar that it comes with and it recommends only water here is the long stainless steel tubing with a end comes with the gasket and the uh, glass jar seal so I'm going to put all this together show you guys what it looks like so you throw throw the gasket on the, your uh, cover first this goes over top and down and now it is firmly in place you fill this with water seal this up and you now have a still. You fill this with uh, dirty water or any kind of water, salt water. And if you have a heat source under here, it'll take a long period of time. So a uh, long burning candle, a couple tea candles. And what it does is this will filter water. So as, it, as uh, the water boils, it has nowhere to go but up the tube. And then it, as it goes up, it starts cooling. It goes down and this is really long so you could actually cut this off right here but I might keep it just for I'm gonna try this uh, in a later video and actually test it but stainless steel never go bad this should never go bad I tried this on my regular mason jar and unfortunately this is this is a wider uh, rim so you're kind of stuck with this type of glass that you get with it but for three bucks you get a basically a water still to uh, distill water any type you can throw salt water in here um, really bad looking water throw it in here boil it up she goes out it comes clean water so I'm gonna definitely wash this before I use it and uh, give this a try but awesome awesome find for a dollar or for three dollars still worth it and it actually came with a cooking guide <laughs> a bunch of recipes and stuff in here kind of crazy and then this was also in here um, an infuser with spices I guess um, you can throw different spices and shove that up the chicken <laughs> but uh, I don't think I'm gonna be using it for chickens I think that's going to be an awesome, inexpensive way to filter water in an emergency. I'm going to test this out, like I said in a later video. And we'll go from there, guys. So that was the uh, Turbo Roaster. Uh, moist and juicy meat. <laughs> it cooks in half the time, even stuffed. Um, it makes sense, because all you're doing is putting steam in the center of the chicken. Or turkey 
This was probably $20 or more at one time because it's been seen on TV. But for three bucks, I couldn't pass that up. You, I don't think you could make a... Well, you could probably make one cheaper. But not... Like for three dollars? You, God, you can get a couple of these. So, that's it for now, guys. Pretty awesome. Awesome find. Alright, that's it for now. See ya. Alright, guys. We're back at the off-grid tiny house. I'm going to open this up. I closed all the windows up. This is that uh, moisture absorbent thing. So, read the instructions. Time to get rid of it. So I'm going to just leave it here. And uh, hopefully this works and uh, gets rid of all the humidity in here. So I'm going to leave quickly, shut the door and seal it up.